Hi, my name is Nick. I'm the lead developer at Accounting Add-ons, and this getting started video will explain how to integrate MYOB with Power BI. So I'll go ahead and sign up for a trial, and I'll enter my personal details. I get to choose whether I want two-factor authentication turned on, and when it's turned on, you'll basically get an email every time you try to log in with a six-digit code that you also need to enter in the login process. You get to choose the time zone you're in, which will be used to format the various date modified fields. And lastly, you gotta put your email and enter and confirm your password. You gotta confirm you've read the terms and condition, which you can read, and you can also confirm that you're not a robot. Once you've filled all this in, you can click register. Now our system will generate an email, send it to you, and then you need to confirm that it's valid. Now in my inbox, I've received an email, which I'll bring up on this main screen. and uh, It has a link here, and it's just a matter of clicking to confirm that your login is valid. I can now click on the login button, and log into OData Link. The next step is to create your account. This represents the business that will sign up to OData Link. It's also worth noting that the account is used as the billing entity and whose credit card details will be used when you choose to subscribe. And the account can also connect to one or more MYB files. A user can actually be associated with one or more account. Think of it if you were an accountant. You could actually work with multiple organizations. Each of those organizations would have their own accounts and you as the user would be invited to manage multiple accounts. So and for the purpose of this exercise my account will just be my name and I'll leave the rest of the details as is and I'll just create account. Once you've created your account you now need to create your model and models allow you to control the security around your data. If you had different types of report you needed to create, for instance, payroll and sales, you wouldn't want everybody to have access to everything. You would want the payroll people to have access to payroll information and the sales staff to have access to sales information. What you would do is create multiple models and restrict who has access to what. For the purpose of this exercise, we only need a single model and I'll actually rename it to sales, both for the model code and the model name and I'll change a data file type to MYOB. Now I recommend you leave the bottom settings intact but we'll quickly go over them. The login type should be left as anonymous which means that when we connect via Power BI we don't need to provide additional details. We'll leave the archive type as developer which will speed up when we're developing our reports and the default start date and default end date controls the amount of data that gets downloaded by default. We'll leave the firewall enabled which means that when we connect to the data we need to ensure the IP addresses are authorized and of course the model must be enabled. So we'll leave those other settings intact and I'll click Save to create my model. So now I need to add data files to my model. So I'll go to the data files item in the menu, I'll choose add MYLB file and I'll choose to log into my MYLB. I'll log into MYLB and I've chosen the API sandbox demo and I'll click add and I've added my data file. I now need to return to my model and assign this data file if it's not already assigned. The next step is to choose what endpoints we want to see. So we'll click on manage endpoints and for the purpose of this video, as I said, it's a sales report, so we'll choose sales all invoices. So that's basically all the sales from MYLB. Doesn't matter what type it is, whether it's miscellaneous or service or item. And I'll click save. I can then return to my model. At the very bottom of the model screen, there's this OData feed section that lists the OData feed URL for the API Sandbox demo data file that we've added. I'll click Copy, click OK. I'll jump to Power BI and I should be able to go File, Get Data, OData feed. I'll paste the URL in and I'll click OK. I'll choose anonymous authentication which matches the way we set up the login type in the model and I'll click connect. From this screen it'll list all the different endpoints available for this OData feed URL. I'll select the sales all invoices and I'll click load and I'll wait for the data to load. So now once the data is loaded it'll list the endpoints and all the different fields. Now it'll list the 
top level fields and in this case I want to add more fields so I'll go and edit my query and what I'm really interested in is the customer name so I'll expand the customer field to make sure I include the name I'll scroll across there might be additional fields I want to see but I don't think I do and I think that could be it and there might be salesperson that might be interesting so I'll pull the salesperson name as well and that's it I'll just click close and apply it'll refresh the data with this extra information the first chart I want to add is going to be a chart that'll show me the data by month The next chart I want to add is a pie chart that'll show me the same values but by customer. And the last chart I want to add is a chart that'll show me the same values but by salesperson. The last thing I want to do is filter the data on the whole page by calendar year. So I'll grab the year, drop it choose the filter to the basic and choose 2021 so this is 2021 sales and I can also go to 2020 if I'm interested or see the combined total sales figure and I can actually see I do a lot more sales in April than any other month now this is using sample Clearwater MRB data so it's not necessarily the most useful data but it's just an overview to show you how you can quickly create a dashboard using Power BI now this was all done through the Power BI desktop so I'll go file, save as, and save this file. Just call it video. We're actually getting started. Guide for MRB and Power BI. I'll now publish it to Power BI on the cloud. So I'll go file, publish, publish to Power BI. I'll choose my workspace. I'll click select and I'll just wait for it to publish. Done. I can click on the link. It'll take us to the website and I can now see my charts. And then from here in theory I should be able to filter by the data. Because we're using this on Power BI in the cloud, we'll want to do two more steps. We'll want to authorize the IP address of Power BI and we'll also want to make it refresh on a schedule. We'll go to my workspace, we'll go to the data set, click on the little triple arrows and click refresh now. Now this in theory should fail because the IP address of Power BI has not been authorized. And as I said we've just received an email that shows that we've tried to refresh the data but the access was blocked. It's given us a link to authorize it so we'll click on that link and we'll click allow. Now this will allow this IP address access to our data link. We'll return to the getting started guide. We'll go to the getting started guide and click on the triple dots of the data set and choose schedule refresh. We'll go to the data source credentials, we'll click edit, we'll make sure it's set to anonymous, no privacy and sign in. This will prove that we can authenticate in. We'll go to schedule refresh and turn it on. We'll make sure the refresh frequency is set to daily, that the time zone is the correct time zone, and ensure that any failures get sent to the data set owner, which is us. Click apply, and the settings are saved. And that's pretty much it. That's a rough overview of how to create a Power BI dashboard using MRB data. I hope you found this video useful, showing you how to get started with OdataLink from the very start when you first sign up, create your account, your model, all the way through pulling data into Power BI as well as publishing in the cloud. There's a lot more steps you can actually do in terms of transformation of the data in Power BI, but that'll be for other videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak with you later. Bye.